right, so here we go with linear interpolation. And it is used when you have some sort of question that relates to a chart of values. For example, find the approximate population of the United States in 1923. And they tell you to go look it up in the chart. So you go to the chart. <laughs> There's no 1923 on the chart. Well, what do I do? Not to fear. We can do linear interpolation, which is we can figure out approximately what 1923 year population is. You set up a little chart. So first of all, you find out where would 1923 fit in this chart, and you look at it, and hopefully you notice that it would fit right in there. So that's the group of numbers that you copy down into a new chart for the interpolation. 1920 and its corresponding population, 106, and 1930, its corresponding population is 120. And then you look at the question you're trying to find out. Um, <clears throat> oh, by the way, this is U.S. population in millions, by the way. Hopefully you knew that there weren't, were more than 106 people in 1920. Okay, so the question says 1923, so I put that right in between here. And then I set up some nice little ratios. Now I put a space here for the one I have to find. And here's the ratios. The span from 1920 to 1930 is a span of 10 years. The span here from 1920 to 1923 is 3. The span I want to find, I'll call x, and the span here from 106 million to 123 million is 17. Use your calculator. Now we just set up a ratio and solve. How easy is that? Watch this. 3 over 10 equals x over 17. Write an equation from that. 3 times 17 equals 10x. 51 equals 10x. So x equals 5.1, which is approximately 5. Now, how do I use that 5 to get the answer we're looking for? The 5 is the x. I add 106 plus 5, what do I get? 111. Now, when you get this answer, make sure it's between these two. If it's not, somehow you goofed. Sometimes, if you look at this number and then you look down here at the second number, the second number is smaller than the number you started with, that's a clue that you should have subtracted, okay? But um, anyway, I think you should be able to do these problems. This is linear interpolation. It's a pretty easy problem. Set up ratios, solve for x. Good luck.